I've just finished up renovating a greenhouse and I've got this plan to automate the greenhouse. That's irrigation, ventilation, environment sensors with this uh, lithium iron cell. Uh, for the eagle eye amongst you, you can probably see it's the Panasonic uh, 18650B, the NCR 18650B with approximately 3400-ish uh, milliamps hours of milliamp yeah, milliamps hour of power. Um, my plan is to use the Arduino uh, Nano uh, to uh, control the logic and uh, sensor uh, management and I'm hoping uh, the Arduino Nano will be my frugal friend when it comes to power consumption. Now although the NCR 18650B is uh, a modern chemical miracle uh, powering not only my greenhouse hopefully but also Elon Musk's Tesla car with about 8,000 of them. Um, all the modern bits and bobs I want to put in the greenhouse, possibly even using the ESP8266 for Wi-Fi, will take their toll. So the motto must be every milliamp hour is a prisoner. I'm going to try and find out what the baseline consumption is of the Nano, which I could do, possibly taking a transient measurement with a multimeter, but I've no idea what the housekeeping uh, routines are on the OS, how often it performs them from time to time. So I'll measure the consumption over an hour, initially using the Stop Blink program, and see how hungry it is. Now to do this, I'll be using this little mini USB uh, meter monitor, and uh, as well as being able to measure uh, volts and amps, uh, it, it also has a timer um, and cumulative milliamps hour uh, recording. So I'll plug the Arduino into this and I've already loaded the standard blink program uh, into it and it should boot up and start blinking once every second, which it is. And uh, I'll reset the meter. There is a reset, a return to zero button on the top here. I'll hit that for five seconds and hopefully it'll go to zero. It has. And now we'll uh, set this into some sort of time lapse for you so uh, I won't keep you too long. Oh, there we go, 10 milliamp hours, or somewhere between uh, 10 and 11 milliamp hours. I guess the next step will be to try and run something a little less taxing and then something probably a little more taxing, but we'll certainly do a little less taxing. I think there's a, a program on uh, the library that does uh, bugger all, uh, and we'll get to that now. While you're watching me do this, I'll, uh, I'll um, tell you a story about uh, my time at IBM. Let's go to examples and we're picking out the basics and there it is, bare minimum. Yes, my story about IBM is about the bare minimum. We were, I was an assembler programmer and uh, we used to have a, a nickname for senior managers, those who were paid a lot of money, didn't really understand technology, didn't really do anything and took up a lot of space. Um, we had a code uh, in assembler, uh, an instruction, a mnemonic called a NOOP, uh, 03 if I remember correctly. And uh, the NOOP instruction could be used to blat out an instruction you wanted to bypass. And the longest length you could take that instruction was six bytes before you had to get another NOOP instruction in. So uh, the senior managers who did bugger all were called six byte NOOPs. They took up a lot of space and, and did nothing. We God, I think that's uploaded now. Yeah, wow, no errors. That's unusual. Great. I'm going to plug this into the uh, the power monitor. I hate the lack of symmetry on USB connections. I wonder how many man years have been wasted. Man centuries have been wasted trying to work out which way around to put the USB cable in. Yeah, 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 I know. USB, fix, USB 3 fixes it. Right. 
now I'm sure that's reset right no blinking no nothing just a green light to say I'm alive well, that's interesting it should flash the destruction said it, it will flash when it detects a device being plugged in and the timer will start but it, it doesn't seem to have drawn enough power to uh, to trigger the device I, I guess this must be below some sort of threshold that the device seeks before it uh, decides to burst well that's a good sign I guess uh, that it's not drawing enough power to bother the Kuisi um, but it's not going to make this experiment uh, that that entertaining so let's cut this one and uh, I'll leave it there. Uh, I hope you found it useful. The baseline seems to be somewhere around about just under 11 milliamp hours running blink. Uh, you can take that down, I'm sure, if you alter the clock cycle from 16 uh, further down, say, to 8. Uh, but uh, I can't seem to get a measurement on this device at these low levels, which is a very good sign. hope you found this useful. Give me a thumbs up if you did.